GEIS we are focused on is on helping organizations transform the way they work. And uh, you know, the, uh, when, you, when you sit through this uh, session today and you think about your migration, potential migration to G Suite, you should think about how it might help you reimagine the way your business works. And uh, just to level set everyone, G Suite is a pretty robust portfolio of applications, productivity applications. We have over 1.5 billion active users of our G Suite applications. These include popular applications you're familiar with, such as Gmail, Drive, Google Docs. But it also includes a number of applications you may not be as familiar with. But G Suite has everything you need and your organization needs to create, to communicate, and to collaborate in a secure way. So we've long been popular with what we call digital native companies, companies like Twitter, Salesforce, Netflix that have leveraged G Suite to run their businesses. Over the last three or four years, we've really invested heavily in making sure our G Suite applications are truly enterprise grade. Uh, so we're really pleased to see that across a wide range of industries, from manufacturing to financial services to telecommunications, pharmaceuticals, we have leading companies and leading enterprises that have chosen to adopt G Suite. We now have over 5 million businesses using G Suite. We've added more than a billion businesses in, a million businesses in the last year alone. So G Suite reimagines how businesses work by powering teams to be faster, smarter, and more collaborative than ever before. We like to say G Suite helps teams make it fast, make it smart, make it together. I'm going to take you through each one of these three pillars and give you some examples and bring it to life in terms of our products. So let's talk about making it fast. Speed is imperative in today's business world. Whether you're responding to a customer request, getting a product or a service to market, solving a technical problem, speed really matters. And speed is at the heart of G Suite. What originally really set us apart as a tool was our real-time collaboration capabilities. We're still best in class in this area. We allow teams and individuals to work in parallel uh, to create things. So here's an example of a Google Doc where multiple people uh, can work simultaneously in real time, always having access to the latest version of a document from whatever device, whatever location they're working from. This is significant time savings over legacy ways of working with other productivity solutions where you may be emailing large file attachments back and forth, always trying to stay on the same version. With G Suite, that's not necessary. And so another way we help users uh, work fast is through Google Drive. Google Drive has now over a billion active users. We announced that last year. It's arguably the most popular cloud storage solution in the market. We've really transformed that into a full-blown enterprise content collaboration solution. Another example that you heard about in the keynote this morning is bringing digital assistants to G Suite. So we're really excited to take the Google Assistant and integrate that with Calendar in G Suite. So if I'm driving to work one day, I can ask the Google Assistant to tell me when my first meeting is, where my first meeting is, who it's with. But we're also bringing this assistance into other products within G Suite. So an example is automatic live captioning, which you saw a demo of the keynote this morning. This brings the power of artificial intelligence, speech to text technology, to make it much easier to follow a conversation in a meeting. Whether for accessibility reasons, you may be hard of hearing, you need this technology. Or let's say you're in a, in a, in a noisy room, such as an airport, uh, and you're having trouble following what's going on in the meeting, with one click, you can turn this on. Uh, and it's really pretty amazing to see this in action. We're adding other additional assistant capabilities to, to our, our Meet video conferencing product, such as the ability to start a meeting with voice commands, the ability to capture action items, all through our Hangouts Meet hardware. We want to save users time in G Suite. So through our own research and through some third-party research, we found that the typical office worker may use dozens of different applications, SaaS applications, to get their work done. We want to make it really easy to bring these other applications into G Suite. So last year, we, we launched a Gmail add-on framework, which allows third-party developers to create applications that open in a side panel in Gmail. And those side panel, you can drag and drop things between the Gmail uh, interface. It makes it really easy. Uh, to use applications like Salesforce or SAP in conjunction with, with Gmail. We're now today announcing we're expanding, expanding that add-on framework to all of G Suite. So it doesn't matter which host application you're using in G Suite, whether it's Google Docs or Google Drive, you'll be able to open the side panel with those third-party apps. It's great for a third-party developer because they can just write this application once and it can work across all G Suite applications. But we really want to help our users minimize their context switching and do everything from one interface within G Suite. So a great customer example here is Gantt, which is one of the leading clothing retailers. They uh, recently used G Suite to open a new flagship store in London in Regent Street. This is a, and a typical process takes about, them about a year. 
But leveraging G Suite, they were able to do this in just three months. And this required a lot of coordination between employees across three different locations, in Portugal, in Sweden, in the UK, across a wide range of functions, from design to manufacturing to operations. These teams, again, use G Suite to stay coordinated. And there's a great video you can find on YouTube which, which highlights uh, this, uh, this example in more detail. So the second pillar of, of G Suite is making it smart. And what we mean by this is harnessing your data and knowledge in your organization to make better business decisions that will have more impactful outcomes. So a few examples of how you can see this in our products. Again, going back to Google Drive, this is the Drive mobile app. We now have a priority page in Drive which allows you to really focus your attention on the files that need your, uh, your attention. So we use a variety of different signals, artificial intelligence signals, to come up and identify the files that you th we think you'll, you'll need access to, need to be working on. And we help guide you to action. So for instance, if there's a file that needs you to review or to comment on, we can bring that front and center. Uh, and with one click, you can get into that experience. The second part of the priority page helps users stay organized. So we found through our own research that your typical knowledge worker may have two to five work streams or, or projects they're working on at any given time. And these projects have a number of files associated with them. With the workspace feature, a user can organize all their different work streams and projects into files. We use artificial intelligence to suggest combinations of files that may be related to make it really easy for a user to structure these things. But when a user comes into Drive, they can immediately find the things that they need to be working on. We're also bringing the power of Google Search into, uh, into the enterprise through Cloud Search. Uh, you heard about Cloud Search at the keynote this morning. It's now available as a standalone tool, but it allows you to, uh, to index third-party data sources, such as SAP or Salesforce, to bring the power of Google Search uh, to every user in your organization. Google Sheets is our most popular, one of our most popular products in the enterprise. Spreadsheets are incredibly popular, and they're a critical tool for using and making business decisions. So in Google Sheets, we have a feature, a powerful feature called the Explore feature, which allows a user uh, who doesn't know anything about formulas or doesn't have to know anything about how to construct macros or pivot tables can ask simple questions of the data, natural language questions, which we'll interpret. So an example here is you may ask, what's the average revenue per region? And the Explore feature will uh, identify the formula to construct that data. It'll show you the answer. And it'll help you with charts and pivot tables, constructing those automatically. This is an enormously powerful feature because most users in an enterprise don't know how to use formulas. Uh, but spreadsheets are incredibly popular. The other big innovation you heard about this morning in the keynote was uh, our Connected Sheets product. So this is the ability to connect our BigQuery platform with Sheets. And this will allow us to support very, very big, massive data sets in Google Sheets, up to 10 billion rows of data. With just a few clicks, you can connect to BigQuery, pull in the data, and then your users, business users, can use Sheets, a very familiar format, to access the data, to analyze the data, and to get insights. They don't need to be a, a data scientist. They don't need to know how to use SQL. They just need to know how to use a spreadsheet. So again, a really powerful feature. When you look at the competitive landscape, uh, other spreadsheet solutions offer maybe 1 million rows of data. So the ability to support up to 10 billion rows of data is a total game changer. This is several orders of magnitude bigger uh, than what other spreadsheets offer. Uh, AirAsia has been one of our early customers uh, testing sheets and is, 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 has really been pleased with the results so far. The third pillar of G Suite is making it together. A collaborative culture is at the heart of an innovative enterprise. G Suite has a full, uh, full set of communication tools uh, for uh, users, all integrated into G Suite. Meet is our video conferencing product. Hangout Chat is our team-based chat solution. Voice is our newest offering, which we announced the general availability of today, which is our cloud telephony solution. And we also have a meeting room hardware, which allows an organization to outfit their meeting rooms in an economical format. And then Jamboard, which is our digital whiteboard which allows teams to work remotely on one shared canvas for creative activities like brainstorming. This is a really powerful set of communication solutions. Meet has been a big focus area for us. We've listened very hard to our customers over the last year, and we've launched a number of new capabilities for Meet. Everything from expanded international dial-in support to increasing the number of meeting participants. Today, we support 100. By the end of this year, we'll be at 250 meeting participants. We now have public live streaming for up to 100,000 employees or external parties. 
Uh, and we've seen a number of customers have used this feature to run company town hall meetings or company all hands. We'll now let you invite external participants into that meeting. And finally, third party interoperability has been a big focus for us. So through a partnership with a company called Pexip, we now allow you to use your existing meeting room hardware, say from Cisco, uh, to run a Hangouts Meet meeting. Google Voice as a cloud telephony solution is our latest offering. Uh, it's been a big, uh, highly demanded feature and product from our customer base. And we've really tried to think through how we can differentiate ourselves in this space. So uh, the first area is allowing our uh, users to use voice in a tightly integrated manner for the rest of, uh, with the rest of G Suite. We've also looked at using artificial intelligence to greatly improve the voice experience. So really powerful voicemail transcription technology. We also use AI to block unwanted spam calls. So we're looking at ways to use AI to differentiate the voice experience. And finally, like other G Suite services, we bring simplicity of deployment and management into voice. So through our admin console, you can easily provision voice uh, and phone numbers to your employees. You can port existing phone numbers into voice. And so we want to make this as simple as possible for an organization to maintain. Our team-based chat product, Hangouts Chat, uh, we relaunched last year. And as you heard in the keynote this morning, one of the, the, the primary things we've been focusing on is how do we create a really deep integrated communications experience. We've heard from customers that they don't like having separate chat solutions disconnected from email with, with systems that don't talk to each other, where communications are happening in multiple places. It makes it very difficult for users and teams to stay on the same page. So we've tried to rethink this experience, and we're opening the beta up now for a, a deep integration of Hangouts Chat into Gmail. So as a user, you can manage all your communications seamlessly from one place. Uh, without having, only, having to constantly contact switch or switch between browser tabs. And we're really trying to minimize the noise that comes with communications, both email and chat, to make sure users have a, notifications that really help them focus their attention on the conversations that matter. In addition, on Hangouts Chat, another really top uh, requested feature is the ability to, to work with people outside your organization uh, and guest access. So we're going to bring that beta to market by the end of this quarter. We have other tools in G Suite, uh, namely one called Google Plus, that help connect very large organizations to help organizations share ideas, share knowledge, and engage in meaningful discussions. Google Plus uh, was originally designed as a consumer social network, uh, but saw a lot of success in the enterprise uh, and has resonated with a lot of our customers as a way to engage their frontline workers, as a way to connect disparate locations, um, and as a way to, to share ideas. So uh, last week, we uh, shut down the consumer version of G+. Uh, we're moving 100% of our resources to focus on the enterprise version. Uh, and we've decided to take the opportunity to, to rename the product. And so we have a new name for Google Plus in the enterprise. Uh, and I'm pleased to, uh, to reveal it as Currents uh, with a new logo. Uh, but going forward, uh, we'll refer to this enterprise product as Currents. And we have a pretty exciting roadmap here of enterprise capabilities that we'll be bringing to the solution later this year. These include things like a much richer fl posting flow, which will allow you to tag uh, new posts with, with, con with uh, topics uh, through hashtags. It will also allow you, as a user, to follow the topics and the people that you care about. So you can make sure your stream is full of relevant information. Currents has very rich analytics for the poster. Uh, and you can see that in, in one of the screenshots here, where when you post something, you'll see how it's engaging and trending across your organization uh, to give posters feedback on what, what's working. And then there's a pretty powerful set of admin controls here to let admins manage their current deployment. So we're really excited about currency enterprise. And again, uh, completely committed to uh, enterprise uh, tool. We think that currents, as we've seen, has really connected large organizations uh, and has done that quite well. The final product capability I want to talk to also helps organizations work together. And that's the ability to natively edit Office content within our Google editors. So uh, whether you're working with an external organization that may be still using Microsoft Word or Excel, or there may be pockets within your existing organization that are still using these tools, we want to make it easy for G Suite users to communicate with them. We're really committed to coexistence uh, with Office and making sure that works well for our customers. So with what we're launching today, Office Editing, you'll be able to open a Microsoft Word document in Google Docs, edit it in Google Docs, save it. It'll save it back to the native Word format without ever leaving Google Docs. So we think this will be really powerful and really useful and will save users a lot of time. They won't have to think about what file format they're using or whatever they need to use. They can just use it Google and it will work. 
So one last customer example here is Salesforce. Salesforce, their uh, communications teams use G Suite quite extensively, these editor products, to work collaboratively, both internally and externally, on presentations. They do a number of global events. And G Suite's a key enabler uh, to make that happen. So we're now going to turn it over to uh, one of my colleagues to talk about an area we care a lot about, which is security and trust. And so I'd like to invite Suzanne Fry on stage to talk about security in G Suite. Suzanne? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I like to take every opportunity I have at a conference like this first to say thank you. Thank you to all of our customers who work with us and use technology every single day to help the world work better together. And to those of you who are prospects, thank you for taking the time out to come learn about what we're doing. Because we really are all here for that common purpose. We wake up galvanized every single morning with that opportunity to help the world work better together. But security is at the heart of making that happen. If we don't feel secure to begin with, it won't happen. Your business data is existential to your success. And it's super important that that remains protected at all times. DDoS attacks, ransomware, phishing, you name it, well, they're just as prevalent on premise as they are in the cloud. So why would you move to the cloud? Well, fundamentally, it's about information at scale and scale of infrastructure. I often say that security comes in many forms. DDoS attacks, for example, mean not only do you have the signals and the intelligence to prevent against it, but you must have the network capacity as well. Phishing attacks, ransomware, the like, it's all informed by the scale of intelligence signals. One thing that differentiates G Suite from the competition is that we have over 1.5 billion consumers using our application, and we're able to bring the intelligence of threats in that space to protect your enterprise as well. We stop over 10 million spam emails every single minute. We inform over 4,000 webmasters of problems with their sites every single day. And we have an absolutely epic library of threats amassed from billions of endpoints every single day. Now, we were born in the cloud. Right? And we have tremendous advantages because of that. We've always thought about how do we fix once and fix for the world, do it in one place, and secure instantly. And let's, when you're opening a drive file, for example, let's say you're doing that with Chrome, and you're doing it on the secure Chromebook, or was talked about that this morning. The Chromebook secured with the two-factor security key, for which we have zero reported hijackings for anyone using those security keys. Well, once you're on our network, right, everything is encrypted by default in transit and at rest and you're operating in our secure data centers. Now, those data centers, again, were purpose-built from day one. We build our own servers. We control the supply chain. We are responsible for fixing issues throughout our stack. We're not waiting for a vendor to patch something two quarters from now. We've implemented a number of things to help you build trust in the cloud. And we believe that there are three things that contribute to trust. And I'm going to double click on two of them in this particular session. One is transparency, the ability to know what's happening to your information in the cloud. Now, last year, we announced for Google Cloud Platform access transparency. And I'm very excited today to say that we have access transparency available for G Suite. Yes, and I'm very excited about that. This continues to differentiate us as the only cloud provider out there that provides this visibility to you. In fact, that auditability capability is so important to regulated industries. And 87% of individuals surveyed in this MIT Sloan survey indicated that their ability to audit the cloud provider was fundamental to their decision to choose that provider. 
This is so important for those who want to understand why a Googler or one of our vendors would have accessed your information. Well, it comes with information about the Googler, about the reason that they did it, the time, the date, all of those things. So that can help you advance your regulatory stance as well. And we also believe in simple controls with advanced capabilities. So I talked about the second factor key on the Chromebooks, the fact that we've had zero reported hijackings with anybody using those keys. Well, we're now bringing that intelligence to the phone. And anyone running Android 7.0 or better can now have that intelligence embedded in their phone as part of a second factor um, on, on the security front. Um, all you need is Bluetooth, Chrome OS, iOS, or Windows. 10 on, your, on the device in your Chrome browser. So we're really excited about that because, again, it takes away sort of the, the hardware component or an extra hardware component from the equation. Secondly, we're bringing context-aware access to your devices. This allows you to bring the device and the identity and build granular controls about both of those attributes to make decisions around access. First time we're introducing that for G Suite. And we're super excited about that as well. And thirdly, at Next in July, last July, we announced data regions for the first time. That's the ability to put your information in Europe or the US, your primary data. And we're really excited to introduce the ability to bring your backups to the region as well, to give you a much more comprehensive solution to data regions. The adoption of data regions worldwide has been epic. And it's been a huge component of many of our uh, customer decisions to go with G Suite. Now, collaboration, we talk about collaboration all the time. We're, it's one of the fundamental messages behind G Suite. But we also need to collaborate when it comes to security. Your security operations are probably increasingly globally distributed, running 24 by 7 teams of expertise in different parts of the world. And the ability to sort of collaborate with other security admins or to hand off to individuals with particular expertise is increasingly important. And we announced Google Security Center a while ago now. But today, to tell you a little bit more, Chad Tyler is going to come up and show us a demo of how to collaborate in Security Center between admins. So as Suzanne mentioned, we're introducing new ways for security admins to collaborate together. Uh, G Suite is really good at helping end users be efficient when they're working together. And you've seen tons of examples of that even in this presentation. Um, but when you look at how security admins collaborate, it tends to be really archaic. Uh, it's a screenshot of the product shared through an email or through a chat channel. And it's really hard to maintain the context of everything that's been done. And so we're really excited to start to bring more G Suite style collaboration to security admins. And I want to walk you through a quick scenario of what that looks like. So as a security admin, I've received an alert that my uh, users are being targeted by malicious emails. And so right from this alert in the Alert Center, um, what I can do is I can come down to Investigate. And when I click here, it takes me to the Investigation tool. And it shows me those emails that were involved in that alert. So right from the investigation tool, uh, what I can do is I can select those, and I can delete these messages. Take that right. And so I can delete these right from the user's inbox so that it's no longer an issue and there's no danger of them clicking on this. However, in this scenario, I am only the admin for Gmail. I need to share this investigation with my colleague who heads up investigation of any data exfiltration. Um, so what I'm going to do is come to the top here, and I'm going to share this whole investigation with my colleague, Robin, um, who will look into drive exfiltration. And I'll say, can you, you look for exfiltration? And then I'll send that. And so now what I've done is I've shared this whole investigation with Robin, my colleague. And when we switch, uh, we could see that uh, 
this is Robin's profile. She's received an email um, saying uh, that she needs to check for drive exfiltration. When she clicks on open investigation, uh, it will take her to the same investigation that I was working on as the other user. Um, and she can see that I've already worked on Gmail. Um, I have looked at these five emails, and I've deleted the emails. And then right from here, she can look at these same users. And she can look at what they've been doing in Drive and create a new query down here. Um, and then search on that. And so when she gets the results, uh, she can select these and simply go and change any file permissions that might have changed. Uh, so she can go from seeing the emails that were received to uh, actually changing the file permissions in just a few clicks. Um, and so now we know that those users are no longer in danger and our data has not been exfiltrated. And so that's just a simple scenario of uh, admins that have different roles working together to better understand what's happening um, in between each, action, each admin and fixing the issue. Um, and with that, I'll pass the uh, stage back to Suzanne um, so she can continue talking about G Suite security. Thank you, Chad. Well, Security Center has been fundamental to improving trust in the cloud. But I want to up-level it just one bit here and reiterate some of the things that Thomas talked about in the keynote today as well. And these are our commitments to you and how we handle your information. Number one, I want to make it perfectly clear that you own your data. We do not. We do not use customer data for advertising. We do not sell customer data to third parties. We are here to protect your information. We never give governments backdoor access to your information. And we are audited routinely against standard international privacy practices in this space and compliant with all the important compliance regimes around the world, including GDPR. So now that you've heard about the security side, I want to go back to sort of the topic of helping the world work better together and why you should go Google. We've always invested in making our applications simple to use. This started as early as the Google search bar. It was to be intuitive. It wasn't, didn't require a ton of training. You just start to use it. And we've done the same with G Suite. And in fact, not only is it intuitive, but it's intuitive to collaborate. And a recent study found that over 76% of the time spent in G Suite is spent collaborating with others. In this world where inclusion and getting many voices at the table to make a wise, globally informed, and diverse choice is so important, the time to collaborate is now. And there's no better solution than G Suite to do that in. Now, migration. Another concern for many customers are coming from diverse systems on site. How do we make migration work smoothly? Well, through partners, through acquisitions, and through increased investments in technology, we've been able to make migration seamless for a number of highly complex customers. And you'll see two, two quotes here from, from large, complex customers who couldn't afford downtime, who couldn't afford problems with the migration. Over 35 terabytes of data, 340 million email messages, all migrated with no disruption to work. One weekend, a go live of 23,000 users at Colgate. That's super critical for any business looking to make that transformation because you do want minimal disruption, and we understand that. And we bring a lot of resources to bear to make sure that that go live goes smoothly for you. Now, we commissioned a report um, with Forrester to really look at the total economic impact of using G Suite. And if you saw the keynote today, Amy Loki talked about this. In fact, there are very tangible results to going Google and going with G Suite. On average, customers see a 1.5% incre increase in revenue, 171 hours saved per user per year. 
That's roughly one month, one working month of an individual's time. Data breaches reduced by over 95%. And I want to be clear, a data breach can be caused by an employee accident. And in fact, it's the most common form today of data breaches are actually just training or, or not using the technology properly. And we've invested a great deal there to make, again, security simple, seamless, and intuitive. But I could tell you all these things. I always think it's more compelling to have a customer tell you these things or share their experience honestly with you. So with that, I'd like to invite to the stage Jurgen Schauer Lawson to tell us more. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, good morning, y'all. I'm really excited to be here today and share our experience in Fossil how we use the G Suite to transform the culture and the way that we perform. Um, and um, first of all, I'd like to you know, introduce the company a little bit. So we're probably one of the largest fashion watch manufacturers in the world. We produce and sell 33 million watches a year. Uh, we're in 33,000 distribution points around the world. More than 500 of these are our own stores. We have fossil stores and watch station. And um, um, we're about um, 11,000 people. Um, that's spread all over more than 150 uh, locations around the world. So um, we're, we are, we're out there, uh, and uh, we need to talk to each other. I'll come back to that. So how did the whole thing start for us? Um, it, precisely five years ago. Uh, we were at a crossroad. Um, we can either renew our enterprise agreement with the current solutions, or we can start looking for another option. Um, in this case, we also looked at our strategy to say, OK, we might, in IT, need to focus a little bit more on our core uh, capabilities. And we actually figured out that what G Suite offers is more a foundational thing. So we were going for everybody employed in Fossil have the same kid. Right? So we knew that everybody has the same capabilities available, uh, regardless of where they were in, in the company. Um, another thing that, that also was very uh, important to us is that we had a very, or we still have, I think, a very young workforce. Um, they were asking for new capabilities. So we set out to investigate how much are we actually using of the current investment um, that, that we actually were paying for. And it turned out. 3% or less was actually utilized. So we kind of like come to the conclusion where we probably need to think about this a little bit differently. And that's why we choose um, uh, G Suite. So the implementation. We did it in less than 100 days from start to finish, literally. Um, we started out connecting some of the pipes to the G Suite um, stack. And then we implemented G Suite in our IT organization, kind of like to eat our own dog food, so to speak. And then we moved on there to uh, a bigger uh, super user community, which was called Google Guides. The Google Guides was kind of enthusiasts, people who signed up across the organization. We didn't distinguish between where the, which kind of function they were coming from, so it wasn't retail or manufacturing. It was all over the place. The Google Guides plays a very important role in, in this rollout because they're kind of our ambassadors, so to speak, for this, for this transition. Technically and culturally, they're training their, their colleagues in this, which is very important. Um, and then we went live over two weekends. Uh, we could probably have done it faster, but we were a little bit cautious and a little bit conservative coming from the old background. But we did it. And from there on, we just let it loose. As I said, it was the basic kit for everybody. So we just organically grew from there, and we are still growing in terms of utilization. So we are way above the 3%. Fossil is a brand company. Uh, as you saw on the logo slide, we have a lot of brands. So we branded this very hard because it is a change management effort, basically. It is really not a technical implementation. It's actually a change management effort. We branded it um, very well. We had our own marketing campaign. As I mentioned, the Google Guides, we beefed them up with all kinds of things, flyers. We even made two music videos. Uh, one of them was actually, we uh, copied uh, Frozen 
Um, and the other one was fresh, fresh, fresh prints. And we have digital signage in each office. And we kind of had them uh, play. And then they kind of reminded everybody that this is going on. And it had a huge success. So, so <clears throat> how do we use it? And how do we grow into this? Um, being in all these locations, being in different cultures, being in different time zones, it's hard to get face time with your colleagues. You can't travel around the world and do this. But implementing the collaboration piece of G Suite helped us a lot to get face time with colleagues around the world. You normally would only have an email, wait 24 hours, and you get a response back. Now you can be more in interactive. You can share sheets, docs, slides, um, forms with your colleagues, and you can have that iterative um, experience, and then you can actually add to it. Um, also, when we, when we start moving into our retail space, we use uh, the collaboration tools a lot to share uh, tips and tricks and, and information. So in the stores, when we implemented this, we kind of had a reduced functionality in the stores because, of, because we thought, OK, the stores, they're there to sell watches. So we just replaced the current capability in the stores. But very quickly, the, the store employees got wind up, well, there's more to this than just what we had. So not long ago, we actually decided to have the same functionality available for everybody in the stores as well as the you know, all corporate offices, warehouses, and all over the company. So, and that actually helped us a lot when we, um, two years ago, launched uh, our wearable, which is the Google Wear OS products, and where stores could start interacting between, you know, tips and tricks, what will local providers do when they pair the phones, and all these kind of things. And another very strong thing, they had a direct pipe back to our um, customer service, so there was kind of more complete uh, customer experience around that. And that was actually done via this. And it was organically. So it was uh, different from store to store. And then another thing is that when the head of retail want to communicate and talk to the, the regional um, managers and district managers, they get on a hangout together. So they can be in the store, they can be in a corporate office, and they can be at home, or they can be at grandma's. It doesn't really matter. Um, everybody can be on that call, and we can reach people pretty fast. Security. The thing that, that actually drove us a little bit uh, from a security point of view in the beginning was more e-discovery, so we can actually contain information and we can query. It took uh, too long to investigate certain informations between um, our legal and our IT guys, and you ought to, ought to always have to have the right IT guy available to query the information, and it took weeks. With e-discovery, that, that, that is pretty trivial today, and it's kind of like, you know, when you Google it, you got it. Um, another th important thing is that we also beefed up on uh, kind of training our end users on phishing and malware and these kind of things. And a little funny uh, story to that is that when we do our phishing, campaigns internally, so when we train our users, we have to make sure we turn off the Google component because it actually captures our internal phishing <laughs> campaign. So um, yeah, that's really strong. And I feel that everybody in Fossil feels very um, secure, and they kind of uh, feel safe around sharing their information uh, across um, the network. So. Getting G Suite implemented, of course, it has some uh, effect to uh, the current setup. Before we had an on-prem solution, we freed up a lot of infrastructure. Um, 47 servers has to be shut down. Um, our workforce in IT at the time was approximately 15 people uh, dealing in email, calendar, and contacts only. Uh, we were able to reduce this into three people uh, and I have to say, today, it's not three full-time people. It's just because we're in three regions. Uh, actually, it's m probably less than one full-time equivalent. We just spend time on this platform in IT. And all that come together, all the simplicity. We don't think about that everybody's patched. We don't think about that everybody's up 
to the latest version. We don't think about when I call a colleague that I don't know, oh, does this person have you know, what I have so we can communicate? It's always the same. And Google takes care of that in the back end, which is a huge advantage for, for, for IT. Think about service desk uh, and these kind of functions that they can rely on that this user have a certain uh, capability available. So what's next? G Suite kind of paved the way for what we're doing right now with analytics. Um, our workforce are very used to work in the cloud. They're used to the freedom. They're used to um, kind of just logging onto a browser, having a browser interface. So what we're doing right now, we're implementing Google Cloud. And we are forcing very much more self-service in, in that end. So um, G Suite actually helped us uh, get to this point and made our users empowered and more uh, use of this kind of interface. So, time to go. Thank you very much. <laughs> David. <laughs>Thank you, Jurgen, for sharing that. It was great to hear about the gains in employee productivity at, at Fossil uh, and the, the reduction in cost and, and support costs. Uh, and I would love to see the music videos at some point. Um, not sure if you appeared in any of them. Uh, so as far as next steps, we've been on a whirlwind tour of G Suite. Uh, wanted to wrap up and just summarize the product launches and announcements we talked about today. There were about a dozen different things. And again, G Suite's about helping your organization move fast, make smart, better business decisions, and make, make it together, right? So be able to collaborate across large organizations that may be distributed geographically. And um, you know, I would encourage you all uh, to try these new features, the ones that are in GA, or sign up for the betas for those that are in, in beta today. Looking forward at the rest of the conference, uh, we have a number of additional sessions later today and tomorrow that cover uh, in more detail what you heard about today. Um, you know, if you're, if you're not on G Suite today and you're thinking about making the transition, but maybe it's a little too much right now, I'd encourage you to look at other ways to start to integrate G Suite in your companies. Uh, Google Drive, we now have a, a standalone drive plus our editors package. Uh, uh, Drive Enterprise is what it's called, that you can start to adopt G Suite without changing your calendar or your email system. We also have Google Cloud Search, which again brings the power of Google Search uh, into your organization, and you can connect your existing uh, internal data and third-party systems into that to provide search uh, within your companies without adopting G Suite. Uh, in terms of product sessions, we're going to go, we have my product leads uh, taking you through in much more detail each of these different product areas. And finally, if you'd like to hear more about customer examples or more from additional G Suite customers on their experiences transitioning to G Suite, we have three other sessions uh, that you'll find later today uh, in terms of the customer sessions. So that concludes uh, our session today. Thank you all very much for attending, and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference.